NFL power rankings heading into week nine, baby. We like halfway through the season, bro. Literally halfway through the season. A lot of crazy games. This past week was nuts, bro. This past week was nuts. I love some football, bro. And today I'm going to get straight into it. We got Super Bowl contenders, playoff locks. We got teams that are like good, but they're running out of time because we're halfway through the season. And we got time, you know, it's time to start thinking about tanking, bro. Your season's over. It's time to tank. You know, suck, suck, but it's time. Whoa, whoa, pause. You know, suck, you know, at, at football, but it's time to, you know, move on. And then we got, you know, this team is just bad. Um, a lot of bad teams in the NFL, I'm going to be honest. Uh, first up, we're going to start from the bottom. We normally start from the top. So we're going to start today with the Washington Commanders. Hail Mary saved their season. Woo! That was lit, bro. I'm not going to lie. That was a lit Hail Mary. Um, I don't know, bro. As much as I like, I'm an Eagles fan, obviously, so I could hate on the Commanders if I wanted to, but I'm not really a Commanders hater. I'm only a Dallas Cowboys hater. Um, but I just feel like they haven't really beat anybody, like, worth the time. Like, the Bears have had a decent season, but they've also lost to the Colts. You know, like, I don't know. But I do still think they're going to make the playoffs, so let me not hate on Washington. But Super Bowl contender, I don't think they're there yet. Uh, Jaden Daniels does look like a dog, threw for over 300 yards. He did get blessed at the end of the game, but I like what they got going over there. Um, there's a lot of bad teams in the NFL right now. A whole bunch of booty teams in the NFL, some hot garbage, and the Titans are one of them. The Titans are definitely one of them. Uh, and I think the Bucks. oh, the Bucks definitely belong right here. Um, God went out for the season. Mike Evans on IR. Trey Palmer said he woke up pissed off. He didn't score a touchdown. He probably sold a lot of people's parlays. Not mine. Um, but, yeah, it's crazy, bro. I'm not sure how they're going to do. Their running backs look solid, though. Bucky Irvin, Rashad White. But I don't know. They got to get healthy. They got to get at least Mike Evans back. They lost both games to the Falcons, so it's looking like the Falcons are going to win that division uh, with a two-game wins over them. So we'll see. Seattle, they're another team. I don't know why this is lagging so much. But they're another team where it's just like, yeah, I don't know. I just don't know if they're good. I don't know if they're bad. Um... There's a lot going on with some of these teams, so we'll see with them. But they are like, what, 4-4? Four and four? I think four people in their division are 4-4, four and four, and then the Rams are 3-4. and four. So it's going to be really close. Uh, the Niners are back, bro. I'm not going to lie. Um, once they get healthy, it's over. They're 4-4. Four and four. McCaffrey's going to be back in the next couple of weeks. Uh, yeah, Ayuk's out for the season, but I still think they win their division. I don't believe in the Cardinals. I don't believe in the Seahawks this year. I think the Rams are probably their biggest competition, but the Rams, you know, 3-4. and four, but they're just getting healthy, and I think the Rams are um, looking good. Steelers, Russell Westbrook, uh, Russell Westbrook, Russell Wilson might be him, bro. He might be him. All he's got to do is play well with that defense behind him, but that's what Justin Fields was doing. But Russ is a little bit better of, I guess, a game manager. He's less likely to make some mistakes, and he's going to have more big plays than uh, Justin Fields throwing the ball. So I like them to win the division or still make the playoffs because the Ravens are still nice. They did lose to the Browns, which is crazy. But it is what it is. Um, the Philadelphia Eagles, we know what we think about the Eagles. Bro, why is this lagging right now? We know how the Eagles are. Uh, three straight wins, big win over the Bengals. Um, it's looking good for them. I would say it's looking good for them. Um, they don't have to do a whole lot. Uh, just run the ball, get the ball to A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith, and you should be able to win a lot of games in the football league. Um, the Jets, it's time to tank for Shadir. Time to tank for uh, Cam Ward. Uh, who else is there? Carson Beck's ugly ass. I mean, I hate on Carson Beck. My fault, gang. Um, and, like, Quinn Ewers. Uh, yeah, it's it's looking bad for the Jets. I think they need to tank. Rodgers needs to get out of there. Keep the same core. But I don't know, bro. I don't know what's wrong with them. They have an all-star team, and they're not good. Um, the Giants, I don't think the Giants are that bad, bro. They just can't score touchdowns. Like, they don't. They need to tank. They need to tank for sure. Uh, the Saints, yeah. Holy, this team is buns. Yes. Like, they lost six straight games, bro. They probably have the biggest... Bro, they went from scoring 40 points in back-to-back -back games to six straight L's. Like, I know they're injured. I know they're starting quarterbacks out. But, like, bro, they just don't even look like a threat at all. I was ready to give the Patriots, you know, ass-ass. But I'm going to show them some love. And, you know, it might be time to tank for you know, one of these receivers coming out, or maybe they get Travis Hunter, pair him with uh, Drake May, or the dude from Arizona who's elite, the wide receiver. Um, I think that's also solid. 
right here, the Vikings, bro. They lost two games in a row. Um, what to the Chiefs, I think, and now the the Rams, who just got all their team, their whole team back. I'm not giving up on the Vikings, but I think they're the third best team in their division, even though they beat, um, even though they beat the Packers. So I'm not too sure about them right now. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm not too sure. Um, they are five and two, so they've got a lot of wins. But I'm not 100 percent sure on them if they're the third best team in the division. The Dolphins. It's looking bad for y'all, bro. It's looking bad for y'all. Tua came back and they still lost to a Cardinals team that's like just okay, but they still took it L. So I'm not really like this team's elite. The Rams. Now this is a team people should be worried about. They're getting healthy. If their O-line can get healthy, bro, Kyron Williams scores a touchdown every game. Puka and Cups, a top five receiving duo. And then all these other guys that were playing while they were hurt probably got a lot of reps, bro, and they're probably going to make some big plays throughout the season, too, when Cup and Puka aren't playing. Um, Chargers, Justin Herbert's doing it all, bro. He's looking like one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Lab McConkey looks like a demon, looks like little Cooper Cup out there. Um, yeah, and their defense is playing really well. I'm pretty sure they're top five in points per game. Uh, allowed, so I think they're doing really good. The Raiders, yeah, bro. Bad football team. I know it looked close against. It's like that picture of a what is it? A Maserati at that boo boo house. This is Max Crosby, bro. Jacoby Myers is low key kind of nice though. No cap, like Jacoby Myers is low key, like looks like a solid, a pretty solid receiver. I hope they don't have to trade him um, at the deadline, but we'll see. I don't know. Now we got the Chiefs. Obviously, Super Bowl contenders every single year. You got Patrick Mahomes. I think a lot of people are wondering how they're so good when, like, you know, they don't even look good. But they're 7-0, and haven't lost. Patrick Mahomes doesn't even look like a top-five quarterback in the NFL. But the defense is elite. The O-line's elite. The run game's been good with Kareem Hunt coming back. Just got D-hop. And, I mean, if Hollywood Brown comes back for the playoffs and they get some other pieces, hey, you never know. The Jags, holy... F, they suck. Play the Eagles this week. I hope my Eagles absolutely cook these bums. But, bro, there's so many one- and two-win teams. Like, it's actually getting kind of out of hand. Um, the Colts just benched Anthony Richardson. Kind of surprising, bro. Like, he's a young quarterback. Can the NFL just not develop young talent? Like, can they not develop young talent? I'm confused. I don't know what they got going on in the NFL, but it's looking bad. The Texans, I think, are overrated, bro. I really think the Texans are overrated, but they're in such a bad division, so they're automatically a playoff lock. But they could be a little overrated because they're a little injured. Like, Diggs is done for the season. Collins is on IR. Tank Dell hasn't had a Tank Dell-type season. So they're getting short at wide receiver. Joe Mixon's missed the game. Uh, yeah, Stroud's doing what he can with what he's got. But that defense is pretty solid for the Texans, so I can't call them frauds yet. The Packers... The Packers have six wins. They're looking tough. They beat those Texans. Jordan Love or Malik Willis, it doesn't matter who's that quarterback for them. Um, Malik Willis is like 3-0 and when he's played. So that's pretty tough in my opinion. And they're looking like a devious team to come out the um, NFC for real. But the best team in the NFC, I got to give it to the, the Lions. They put up 50 points and Jared Goff threw for 80 yards, bro. Like, the run game is ridiculous. That O-line's ridiculous. Amon Ra is one of the best receivers in the league. That defense gives up plays, but they play hard, bro. Even without Aiden Hutchinson, bro, imagine they still had Aiden Hutchinson. They're going to make a trade for, like, a Zadarius Smith type of player and just kind of try to add to that D-line. But, yeah, I like the Lions this year. I think this is their year to actually make it to the Super Bowl. Unless, you know, Fly Eagles Fly comes in, you know, mops them up real quick. That would be lit for me, but, you know, it's cool. I, I, I mess with the Lions. That's a, that's a solid football team right there. The Broncos. <sighs> I got to show them their respect, bro. Bo Nix is playing well, bro. Bo Nix is playing well. I can't even lie, bro. I can't even lie. Bo Nix is playing well. The Dallas Cowboys, 3-5. and five. Dak Prescott, garbage time. Dak gets all his stats, stats in garbage time. If I'm going to be honest with you, Dak, I got to throw y'all here, bro. It might be time to start thinking about tanking to get Ashton Genty. Time to start tanking to get Ashton Genty. Bro, I'd love to show the Cowboys some. Actually, I wouldn't love to show the Cowboys some love because, you know, I despise the Cowboys. But I don't even want to put good in front of their name. Like, all these teams here are better than the Cowboys right now. So I don't think they belong in here. Like, the Cowboys, 
the Jets, the Dolphins, the Colts all in the same boat. Like those four teams all in the same boat. Just might be time to tank. But they paid their players all that money, so I don't know, bro. The Browns, time to tank. Um, Jameis went in and beat the uh, beat the brakes off um, Lamar and them, the Ravens. But I still think the Ravens are Super Bowl contenders at the end of the day. The Bengals, I'm not going to count them out yet, bro. Joe Burrow, maybe I'm glazing a little. Maybe their season's over. They got to win seven out of nine games, like Burrow said, and I think they could do that. A lot of division games coming up, so we'll see. But if they can beat the teams in the division, they're just going to get set up good. But if they don't, then they're going to, you know, have a top ten pick this next season. Um, the Bears got so unlucky, bro. I couldn't even imagine being a Bears fan this past week. Like, that's actually sickening what happened. I would be so mad. But it is what it is. Um, Caleb Williams is okay. He'll be fine. He didn't have a good game. Definitely show that Jaden Daniels is the front runner for MVP or Offensive Rookie of the Year. Maybe he will win MVP. Who knows? Uh, Panthers. I don't even need to talk about the Panthers. We know about them. The Bills. Move him up to Super Bowl contenders. Josh Allen threw his first pick, but he might be number one in MVP. Him and Lamar are head to head. Um, he's playing really well. Amari um, Cooper's going to be big for them because Shakir and Coleman are just going to eat with Amari Cooper being out there. It takes a little bit of stress off those two. So now they have a little bit more free range. Dalton Kincaid solid, so they should be chilling. Uh, Baltimore, I like Baltimore this season. They did take an L. They could drop, but, you know, they got a good team. Um, Lamar leading that team is, is a good look, so I'm not too worried about them. It was a tough game, bro. Jameis came out of nowhere. They're playing with nothing to lose, the Browns, so I'm not surprised. And his receivers made a lot of drops. They got Deontay Johnson today, so that should be uh, a good pickup for them. And next, we got the Falcons. Um, like I said before, this is looking like a playoff lock simply because they beat the Bucks twice, and then the Saints and the Panthers are in the bottom tier, so they're not looking like they're going to be relevant at all. Uh, so the Falcons are looking like one of the better teams, bro. Kirk Cousins killing. Um, he's doing his thing. And, yeah, we'll see. And last but not least, we got the, the Cardinals. I'm going to throw them in here. A lot of teams in good, but running out of time. These are like the extra couple teams that are going to make the playoffs. I got, what, 10 teams right here that I think are locked. So two of these teams make it. So, I mean, we'll see, bro. It's looking like one team from the NFC, one team from the AFC. So, we'll see. It's going to be a long season. Uh, we're halfway through. A lot of teams are looking good. Um, but, yeah, this is probably my top, what, nine, ten teams in these two. And then the rest is kind of just after that. These are definitely my worst five teams, in my opinion. The worst five teams. And then after that, you probably got the New York teams and New England and then these teams. But with that being said, bro, this is the power rankings for week number nine. Be sure to tune in to some of my other videos. I got plenty of shorts coming out. I know this video was a day late. I apologize. But you already know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to be back next week with another video. I'm going to start throwing out some basketball videos because that season started. So, yeah, man, stay tuned. Got a lot of stuff coming out. Stay tuned. I already said that. But I appreciate y'all for tuning in. And we out of here.